Yes, 1-0 up, England. We didn't think we'd be saying that on the no. Friday morning, did we? <laughs> Oh, some people did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, who, I don't know who they were. Yeah. It certainly wasn't me. No, there wasn't that many people, but what a comeback by England. And um, Brendan McCullum, the coach, uh, sort of tantalisingly putting out there that we could go with an all-spin attack. Probably Jack Leach's injury is done for that, but really tantalising prospect. Let's see what one of our top commentary team out in India bringing you the series exclusively live on TalkSport makes of all that. It is Kevin Peterson. Good afternoon, Kevin. Hi, guys. How are you? Yeah, we're good. Thank I you. I wonder if there's any kidology in that, you know, by Brendan McCann. I'm hoping they'll produce a wicket that doesn't spin as much if he thinks we're going to pick five spinners. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not so sure. Uh, I, I think that just for control um, in the first innings, we probably might have had to have had a guy like Jimmy Anderson just for some sort of control. It, But it just ended up being one of those historic... Uh, matches of cricket which uh, don't come around very very often almost a once in a generation where you can be trailing by 190 and uh, and come up on on top so i i, I don't know um i will be in uh, back in uh, in india tomorrow so uh, we'll figure it out when we get back to india yeah it's going to be interesting to see what the wicket looks like isn't it? I mean, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, ben folks has been saying that the, the wickets he's encountered before in, in India can be quite horrible. Raging Bunsen's is, is the phrase mm. he used. <laughs> and that's probably, that's probably likely to be the case, isn't it? Uh, well, it, it didn't spin as much in the, uh, well, it was quite slow, the spin in, um, in Hyderabad. Uh, and the soil is very similar. It's a black soil in Vizag. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens in Vizag. And one thing we do know is that if they want it um, to spin, they will make it spin. So that's one thing we do definitely know. It's interesting, though. There was a stat that came up during the last test. That India have got a better record on flat pitches, which is surprising yeah. in a way. Um, no Kohli, no KL Rahul, no Jadeja. This is a great opportunity for England, isn't it? Huge, huge opportunity. But they have got some quality youngsters that... Uh, are um are, are on show in this next test match. Uh, Safraz in particular is a youngster. He's a cocky kid uh, who has got great temp, a great temperament when batting, and he's got fantastic numbers to back it up over the last couple of seasons. So all you need is um is a is a couple of these guys to come in and make an impact in the test match, and uh, you won't really miss the other guys. However, it's that experience that those other guys do bring, uh, and also their aura around the team that help uh, give some sort of positive energy to the to the uh, entire backroom staff that are supporting the players on the mm -hmm. field. Um, so they are big, big losses, guys. Those are huge, huge losses for India. So we just want the England team now to capitalise on them. It was a great performance by our bowlers and, and Tom Hartley especially, but, you know, Ollie Pope laid the platform with that, that innings for them to bowl at. So what did you make of his performance, Kevin, and what about his development as an England player? Absolutely fantastic. To to have the kind of temperament to go out and uh, back yourself in that environment was something, again, you only see it once in a lifetime because of uh, the, the, the situation of the game. I mean, how many teams back from 190? And that, again, was down to Ollie Pope's bravery. Uh, also, uh, we must must give full credit to Brendan McCullum and, Bryn, and uh, Ben Stokes for the way that they allow their players to play without consequences. Mm. They allow them to play with freedom. And they know that uh, there's no negativity that will ever, ever, ever come into that England dressing room. Yeah. All they want is positive vibes, a positive team, positive players. And they will go out and they don't believe that they can lose. I played with the great Shane Warne for a very long time. And uh, Warney never, ever believed in losing. And even if he had lost, he was like, oh, we should have won. We, we had that game. We should have. So that's the belief that Brendan McCullum and Ben Stokes have put into all these players. And in life, if you can walk around without fear, without knowing there's no consequences, it's not a bad thing to do. Well, I sense you would have liked to have played in this yeah, team, definitely. Kevin. <laughs> I was, a, I was, a, I actually never changed the way that I played, but uh, the only thing that has changed is that there were consequences for me. Yeah. <laughs> There's no consequences now. <laughs> it's true. It yeah. is true. What about the fast bowling? Say they do go with a similar sort. Do you, or do you think they'll go with a similar field? Or do you think they'll pick two this time? Um, 
I think Jimmy Anderson should have played in the first test match. Now, it doesn't really... You look at the test match and you go, well, Mark Wood did X, he did Y. Um, but I just think for control, Jimmy Anderson is the guy for control because you need to be able to control the innings. And in the first innings, the Indian batters gave all their wickets away. They all got flogged and caught on the boundary or caught at mid-wicket. None of them actually applied themselves to get a 200 or a 250 mm. or at least a big 100 like Ollie Pope. And they could have killed the ser- that, that test match right there and buried England if one of them actually showed some sort of resolve. Um, they didn't do it, um, which makes me feel that uh, – the reason for them playing in a, in such a free spirited manner was because they had the they had the access to it because the the bullets weren't spinning the ball and none of us none of the commentators none of the, the writers I don't think the fans ever believed that England could come back after seeing what they saw in the first innings and that's why you need a bowler who can bowl from one end go two runs and over command some sort of authority join the dots. Um, which is the which is one of the cliches in cricket because you you needed some space to control the game, and I think Jimmy can control the game. So I'd be surprised if Jimmy doesn't play. But then, do you change a winning team? Maybe not. Yeah, no, that's a big depends question. on Jack Leach whether he can play or not. And a fair bit of pressure on India. I would imagine that you know they're not used to losing. We can see those shot faces in the crowd at the end of the game amongst all the Indian fans. And I would imagine the Indian media have dissected that that defeat and, and so I, I just wonder if you know mm. they've probably been under the pump this week a little bit the players it'll be interesting to see what the reaction is in the stadium and from the media ahead of this one well guys you, unless you've and, and you guys might have been to India and you might have teams of cricket out in India uh, <laughs> but for anybody who hasn't been to India hasn't been out to go and see cricket and and and, and be a part of that incredible country. You don't understand the pressure that is involved when you're dealing with 1.4 billion people where cricket is a religion. Mm. It is more pressure than any else. Footballers in England, the highest caliber football, have got no idea what it's like to play under this sort of scrutiny and this sort of pressure. And so with that being said, I think this week would have been a tough week for these guys, a very, very tough week for them. And you're right. It will be fascinating to watch how they come back on Friday and uh, and do their stuff because it's a hard environment being a part of this Indian cricket team. Yeah, yeah. a lot of well, pressure on Rohit Sharma, I think. Who's yeah, their senior batsman. So Correct. It's, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, massive. massive. Well, Kevin, safe journey back. We're Thanks, here Kevin. from you Friday. Thanks very much. Yep. Cheers, guys. Take care. There's Kevin Peterson, one of our excellent commentary team bringing you um, a ball-by-ball commentary of uh, the whole Test series. It gets underway Friday morning, 4am. We'll simulcast it on TalkSport and TalkSport 2. Um, I don't until... care if we're 500 behind on first innings. I'm still not saying you're going to lose. <laughs> uh, breakfast gets underway at 6, of course, with Alan and the guys, so uh, we'll then be TalkSport 2 only. Um, the easiest thing to do is to download the, the TalkSport app and you can just swipe between the two stations, all the podcasts there, including the following on Cricket podcast, which the guys do straight after play if you want to keep talking about and listening to what's gone on in that day's play. So go and check out the TalkSport app wherever you get your apps. Download and uh, you can uh, listen quite easily to our uh, coverage from India. So that's all getting on as we said, Friday, 4 a.m.